all for upwards of 300 400 and 500 thousand dollars nobody is going to bite on these offers most likely and you're going to see the people who are holding these notes continue to wait until prices are forced downward Barkin has said that the Federal Reserve cannot repeat its stop and start cycle that battled inflation in the 1970s. Estimates from studies right now show that it can take 12 months from a demand pullback to reduce the rate of inflation. There's a cycle of events here. They let corporations raise the prices artificially. It's not because they're paying their employees more. It's not because the raw cost of goods went up that much. You see these corporations are charging you more while making record profits. That means that they are just that, making more money. And so it takes 12 months, they say, of less people being able to afford their food, afford their phones, afford their services, and afford their goods. And then these corporations will finally say, you know what, I think we have pushed things too far. But we are going to see lots of bankruptcies and other fallouts come between now and then. In that case, you and your family need to be prepared for an emergency fund, or at least what you will do if you lose your job, your main source of employment. Everybody that I'm talking to out of them, only a few out of dozens and dozens are making more real money. I'm not talking about more hourly, but having more money to spend right now than they were in the year 2019. Why? Because... All right, Shalom. This is the brother Dunyala coming back again with another lesson. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rakakwagash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that believe in His Word and that fear in the Heavenly Father and His Son. Um, you know, I'm uh, on the road driving, um, so this is an in transit, but uh, I wanted to, to harp on this real quick because, you know, it was talking about these big corporations um, charging people more uh, more money for the same uh, uh, product or the same amount or less because you have something called inflation, right? Increasing the price of goods, and then you got something called shrinkflation, all right? Where you, the, the price of goods is going down. But you are still you are still paying the same price. But now you got both of them going on. You got inflation and shrinkflation. So they're shrinking the amount that they're giving you, and then they're charging you more, and they're still making profit off of you, man. Which you know, hey, that's that's wicked to charge somebody a um a price that is uh. You know, not it, to charge somebody that's that's a uh, 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 what do you call it? That's not just weights, man. All right, you charging the same price, but it's not the same weight. You know, so hey, these different things are going on, right? And he was hey, you got lots of hey, a lot of hey, a lot of people it's about to lose their jobs. And, you know, we have to prepare to lose our jobs also, man. So, you know, with that being said. You know, all of this is really pointing to the karagma, that uh, digital all, that digital device under the skin, all right? All these things are so that that can be promoted. So the inflation, the shrinkflation, that's all being done on purpose so that, you know, and this devil is orchestrating a lot of things, and ultimately the Lord is using him to orchestrate, uh, partic using him to orchestrate particular things, right? Concerning you know man-made famine and other different things, right? Because they control the whole monetary system and all of that, man. So when it comes to that, this is all pointing towards that karagma. All right, they're gonna create chaos. Uh, uh, economically, um, socially, right? <laughs> Psychologically, they're going to create chaos on all fronts, all right? And they're going to bring back order, but it's going to be an order that's in their favor, all right? That's, that's contrary to the Heavenly Father and His Son, all right? So that's what's going to be uh, uh, 
going on, and they're gonna they're gonna solidify that, right, with the karagma, right? So just just as you see in the islands, you know, they suffer from high super, you know, high inflation. You know, now they, you know, like like with Jamaica, you got jam decks. Now they they're basically uh, you know, um. Now they're basically uh you know, with jam decks they basically are um trying to provide a, a so called solution to the economy by by the C B D C man. By by having a digital um a, a digital monetary system, right? So with that being said, let's go ahead and get these precepts, because this is where this is pointing to. Um, this is Revelation 13 and 17. It says, and that no man might buy or sell. So you will not be able to buy goods. You will not be able to sell goods, right? And a lot of people are in the situation where they have to buy and they have to sell because what? We don't live in a society Right where you grow, uh, a lot of people grow their own food or make their own stuff. Right. On top of that, there's different laws that be set in place so that you cannot grow your own food. All right, you cannot uh, be self-sustainable. Right. They really want to have you in a chokehold, man. You have. You, they want to have you uh, backed into a corner where you have no other way to go. All right. And, the, and this devil is going to use that dependency that, you know, Jake has, but not only Jake, but the masses have uh, for uh, uh, this devil, man, and the things that he could provide. They're going to try to, they're going to use that against Jake. You know, the elect are going to depend on the most high, right, but two-thirds are going to fall into that trap, man. They're going to fall into it, all right? It says, uh... Save that he had the M A R K or the name of the beast or the number of his name, right? Save really, save you had that digital device. If you don't have it, you can't buy or you can't sell. All right, and this is what all of this economical catastrophe that's that's you know. I mean, right now people can still buy certain things. For, for uh, an okay price, but it's going to get worse, all right? So now let's go here because, hey, we we can see it coming through the spirit of power. How about Shemya Washai? The Lord has informed us through the spirit, all right, what's coming down the line, all right? And we're not we're not ignorant, right? We're not without knowledge of what this devil's plan is. So all the different things we see, it all points and uh, towards his plan and is according to his agenda. So this is Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. Lest Satan should get advantage of us, right? So he doesn't have advantage over the elect because the elect know what he's doing. All right, the Lord has brought what he's doing. All right, to the to their knowledge, man. Okay, it says, "For we are not ignorant of his devices." When you go into the the word devices in the Greek, it means thoughts, uh, purposes, plans, right? Because when you plan something out, it, it it begins with your thoughts. Okay, now also your thoughts can be translated to paper. So you got these different executive orders, these different legislations, laws that are written. And pre prescribed, all right, and it shoes forth his uh, his plans. Even if he, you know, this devil tries to, uh, you know, make it long, drawn out, and complicated to read, right? But when you go in there and you you actually look through it, you you pick through all the uh, the bones in there, you can see what he really wants to do, all right. And because we know through the scriptures what he wants to do, we can, you know, you look through there. And you know what you're looking for, man. Right? But these different things are, are you know, we're not ignorant of his devices. All right? 
me get one more before I got to uh, hop off of here. Right? Uh, Habakkuk chapter uh, 2 and verse 5. It says, Yea, also, because he transgresses by wine. So he transgresses by wine, meaning his philosophies. The philosophies he push upon the world are those of um, the philosophies he push upon the world are those that are contrary to the Heavenly Father and His Son. All right? Those laws are contrary to the Most High. All right? And this is what he pushes upon all the nations. It says, um, He is a proud man. Neither keep his at home. Right? He, he, he's, he's expanded from uh, uh, Mount Seir and Edom. Right? And no matter where he's stationed, he's always in another nation's business, man, trying to get their resources all over the world, right? That's why he has over 800-something uh, American embassies in all these different countries, man, right? Who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied. This devil's all about death and destruction, all right? Just as he said, you know, uh, he shall live by the sword. It says, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Right? So this is this is what he wants to do. Well, he's already done it, but he wants to solidify everything. Right? Just like, like in the time of Antiochus and Epiphany, he wants to solidify everything. His philosophies, the worship of all these different idols. Right? His ideologies. And he wants to force it upon everyone. Right? And unify everyone via that C hip, okay? That karagma. All right, you know. So that's a. Hey, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. That's what's coming down the line, you know. With that, I'm gonna say shalom.